All right, patch notes are out. It's time, the moment we've been waiting for. Finally, look at that. I knew they were gonna be out soon. All right, it's official. We are at the mid-season patch notes. And, and, and since we'll make a video out of this too, before we even get into it, yes, Mauga is nerfed. All right, Year of the Dragon seasonal event. The fireworks and festivities for the Year of the Dragon begin on January 30th. Okay, that makes sense as to why um, it is not yet because it is um, 21 days away. Mischief and Magic Prop Hunt game mode returns on the Li Zhang uh, Night Market map. Looking forward to that with all new props for Rogue Kiriko to transform into, into, transform into that will make you look in every direction imaginable. In addition, celebrate with your fan favorite Lunar New Year modes, including Capture the Flag and Bounty Hunter Blitz. All right, got that part. And on to the nerfs for Malga. Base health increased from 250 to 300. Keep in mind, when we say increased does not mean that it's a buff. Because the next statement here is base armor decreased from 250 to 200, okay? So what that means is that the armor is now less. So essentially, there's less armor, like which is going to make it so you can get through Mog's HP a little bit more. Ammo has been decreased from 350 to 300, so there's going to be less Mog's farming each other. Cardiac Overdrive Lifesteal decreased from 70 to 60%. And the cooldown increased from 10 to 12 seconds, so... So far, everything has been a nerf. Everything has been a nerf. Cage Fight no longer grants infinite ammo, still reloads Mauga's chain guns at the start of the ultimate. Now, as we just kind of tested, if you just use your ultimate and you don't have a Kiriko, you, you won't have to, like, you probably won't run out of ammo. But if you have a Kiriko, which is a big part of the current kit, you will have to reload because you'll, you'll go too fast. So you, there's a reload timer now. And then Berserker. Over health conversion rate decreased from 60 to 50%. So just to make this very clear after looking here, you know how sometimes they do compensating buffs for nerfs? There's none here. This is all nerfs. Every single section is nerfed that they have on this on this part here. Everything is nerfed. Your 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 your, your HP and armor, like the armor's now less, the ammo is now less, the lifesteal you get is now less, the cooldown is longer. Cage fight, you don't have the automatic um you don't have you don't have infinite ammo, and Berserker is 60 to 50%. So, like, every single part of this kit, I think it's every single part of the kit, maybe I'm missing one thing, is now nerfed. Well, the charge. The charge isn't nerfed, right? Which is fine. Everything else is nerfed. So, Mauga will definitely be worse now. There is no, like, I don't look at these patch notes and go, oh, I think Mauga will still be very good. I think this puts Mauga in a spot where you can play Mauga if you want, but you're not going to see Mauga played a lot, a lot. He said he should have been nerfed more. I, I, I think they want to have the hero be at least played. You know, I don't think they want to put it at a 0% pick rate. Okay. This is not a hero I expected to see. Arissa. Augmented fusion driver removed fall off damage penalty. Wait, is that? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that Arissa has zero fall off damage now? That was unexpected. I, 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 you know, I, I, <laughs> I will say. That is unexpected. And what else I'll say about that is, what is Arissa's win rate that Arissa has no fall off damage? I need to know. Like, what what, what is hap what is Arissa's win rate right now that it's become that? We'll see. But at the same time, if you're going against Malga, is it said it's not good. Fair enough, Gavin. That that makes sense because that's what I was gonna say. I feel like I don't think Blizzard buffs Arissa just to buff buff Arissa. There must have been some like stats to back this up. At the same time. Maybe with Mauga being nerfed, Arissa, I don't know, we'll see. And then Fortify, now immune to taking forced critical hit damage. Fortify already prevents direct critical damage from headshots. This is a fine change, just to go to the next part. This right here is fine, because it's just being consistent with Mauga. Basically, when you were on Mauga and you, you set them on fire, you could crit them. So I, I get this part. This part, I'm, I'm a little bit wary of this. The only thing I can see is they want Arissa to be able to do more poke damage stuff, but I... I I'll show you in a minute on the fall-off damage penalty. Roadhog! Take a breather. Total amount heal reduced from 500 to 450. And cooldown between usages increased from 1 to 1.5 seconds. Good change. I mean, Hog needed to be nerfed. I, the Hog win rate was really high. It's not even about, like, the Hog's damage output. It's about the Hog's survivability. Hog was surviving for way too long, and because you lost that counterplay aspect of Hog, right? Like, there just wasn't much counterplay outside of Honor Grenade. And then because people were running out of Kiriko all the time, like you just, it was just nothing was happening. Hog had a lot of survivability. So 
they're just trying to, to make it so there's a little bit more counterplay, which this adds to that. I'm not going to say that Hog will, Hog will still be pretty good, but now you have a bit more counterplay, especially I, even just the 1.5 seconds is a huge deal. Never mind the less healing. So, so there you go. So those are the tank changes. Um, my take, Malga changes are good. Arisa change, I, it, I, it's kind of a question mark for me in the sense that I just I have to see. Roadhog, good changes. Damage. Sojourn. Gradual energy no longer decays below 25%. Wait, does that mean that your min on that is always going to be 25%? So if you get the 25%, it doesn't go below that? Is that correct? Am I understanding that correctly? <laughs> if you fire, you'll expend the, all the energy. Still, yeah, if you fire... Right, if you fire, but like if you don't shoot for a while, it just stays at 25%. Is that correct? That That is interesting. I, I, okay, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. At top 500, this, I, I'm, I, this is going to be something. I will tell you that much. In other ranks, my guess is that Sojourn has been having, has been struggling in some comps. So this kind of like will probably make Sojourn better. But like I, I can already tell in like top 500, this is going to be a treat. Because now it's going to be even more so of just like fully charged Sojourn. Um... But the game will play differently in each rank. So I have to look at it from that way. My guess is that, once again, this goes to the win rate. Sojourn's been seeing more play. And I will say Sojourn has been playing well against me in games. I can't speak on the win rate. Like, I can be saying that. They're, they're laughing going, yeah, it's a 40% win rate. But, like, that's an interesting one. I, I, I didn't expect that. It kind of comes out of nowhere almost. I, I, it, it's one of those things where I don't know where it is. You said stop talking, please? No. All right, Sombra. Stealth. Uh, grace period where stealth can be canceled immediately after entering it increased from 0.5 to 0.75 seconds. Does this mean that when... Okay, explain this to me. Is grace period where stealth can be canceled immediately after entering it increased from 0.5 to 0.75? Oh! So, like, that way, like, when you're on the objective, right? Before you can stop you... Like, so when you go to, like, shoot or something... What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who I get what that? you're saying. That makes sense. So if you, if you started to enter stealth, as Cactus Puppy was saying, and canceled it by shooting, you wouldn't... In okay, so it's basically... That's probably for the point, right? Okay, I kind of see where that's going. Okay. Uh, cooldown now pauses at one second while capturing or contesting objectives from 1.5 seconds. So it sounds like it just this is just to help with, like, if you're on the point as a Sombra, so you can... And then cooldown on respawn on respawn and decrease from 1.5 to 1 seconds. I'm going to be honest with you. I read all this and I... I is this a buff? Someone just let me know. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I, I I understand it, but I don't. As in like, I just don't... I, is it buff? Is it a nerf? I don't... It's a buff? There you go. It's a buff. I was just reading words there. I'm going to be real with you, chat. Like, I, I, I think I understand it, but I was like, I don't know if I... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Quality of life change. Small buff, quality of life change. Perfect. Here we go. Supports. On a grenade, biotic grenade, effect duration reduced from 3.5 to 3 seconds. Yeah. I mean, it, we, we, yeah. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. I, I, I'm not surprised. I, I mean, honestly, chat. I'll take my headset off for a second here, too. I, I'm honestly not surprised. Like, 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 it's been, the on a grenade has been such a huge discussion that, like, I don't think it will fix the overall issue. It probably will be more of, like, you know, of more of like kind of like a band-aid fix at that point because like the honor grenade will still be an issue but they're just trying to make it so there isn't as much uptime of people being purple because people are just so good with honor grenade now and Anna in general that you spend so much of the time like being purpled that they're just making it so you're purpled less i, I think Anna will still be good am i wrong like i think Anna will still be good i'm i'm, I'm, I'm i don't know where that where like a yari will end up in the meta on that one but i think i think i mean i, I mean Anna that is but like i think Anna will still be good i don't know that's my opinion because like, it happened the same time before. It used to be longer, I think, and then they nerfed it, and then people were like, oh, that's it. And then Ana was still really good. I think I think the ability is just too good right now. I say too good. I mean, like, it's such a good ability to have that, like, I think it's going to be fine. Like, the ability is good. It's the same thing with, like, Lamp. They've nerfed Lamp a ton, right? It was 4 to 3, and then 3 to 4, and then 4 to 3.5, now 3.5 to 3. Yeah, see? You don't turn Lamp is when nerfed a ton from when what it used to be, but it's still really good, right? Like, it's, one it's just a good ability. So I think Ana will still be good. Ayari. Primary fire change or charge gain is no longer caused by or paused by secondary fire, nor channeling captive sun. Oh! So, like, if I understand this correctly... When, you're, when your charge is going up, if you went to heal, it paused it. Is that correct? 
just so I understand this correctly and I can explain it correctly. So, if you were doing damage, but then you had to, you had to heal somebody with your right click, or like if you're on console, like whatever the, that keybind is, it would pause your charge from going fully. So what this does now is this will be if you heal your primary. I mean, that that sounds to be honest with you, and 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 we'll meme about like the the damage output from a Yari and stuff like that. But like that sounds like a quality of life change. It's just good. I, I feel like that. Doesn't feel it just it just feels like it's gonna feel better. You know what I mean? Like it's a buff. Don't get me wrong. Like this is a buff that's huge for Ayari. But like I know I get why they're doing that. It just it just feels it's just gonna feel like a better situation there. You know what I'm saying? Like I I'll probably I'll probably you know you'll hear me complain in two weeks about getting rolled by an Ayari over and over again. I'm like ah! Oh! But like you get my point. Like I think it's good. Uh, Winter Kiriko, thanks for the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Ammo increased from 14 to 16, so now you can shoot at people longer. So, yeah, the I mean the 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 damage output of Ayari is technically up now without without changing the damage. Captive Sun now fully refills secondary fire resource and resets overheated status. Ooh, okay. So when you alt now, you have full healing resource, and you aren't overheated or like basically you you can just go right into like. Okay. That's I think overheated status is when you are um. It has to do with the primary fire, right? If I'm correct? Like, if you use it fully on that one or secondary? Oh, was it secondary? Oh, wait, 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 wait. When you use your heals... Okay, I got it now. I got it now. Sorry. When you use your heals all the way through, you have to wait for it to re-up. So what it does is it will just reset the overheated no matter what. So when you're healing and say you use all of your heals up, it resets it all the way back. So basically, this is just to give your, you a full heal when you go into ultimate. Do you know what I'm saying now? So basically, now when you ult... It's going to give you that resource back regardless of where you're at. So if, say, you overheal, then you ult. It, it gives you the option to, like, kind of, like, use all of your heals, go into your ultimate, use all your heals again if you need to, etc. Remove the damage fall-off penalty on the Sunstrike explosion. Well, that's going to make the Sunstrike a lot better again. It's interesting because a lot of the changes they're doing aren't changing the damage. They're just changing, like, how the, the ability interacts. So we'll see. I'm sure we'll see some good captive suns again. You want my hot take? I don't even know it's a hot take. Captive Sun is such a fun alt in comparison to, like, most alts right now. Like, Captive Sun's like the new Pulse Bomb. Like, what Pulse Bomb used to feel like whenever you would, like, grab Pulse Bomb. Now, it, now, now, like, Sunstruck is like the new Pulse Bomb, where if you just see the chain effect of that ultimate, it is so good. Like, if you're on the team that's getting rolled by it, not so much, but if you're on the team that just gets to see... Oh, it is so cool. It sounds cool, too. I, I just needed to point that out. <laughs> like, it's, it's a cool ultimate. Okay, Life Weaver. Thorn Volley. Projectile speed increased from 70 to 80. So that just sounds like you can you just it just say it's just making it closer and closer to a hit scan, right? Or is it make it right? That's a buff. It's not hit scan, but like that's a buff to like the damage. Like it just it goes faster. So. A little bit more damage output. You said you almost 1v1 to Life Weaver as a tank earlier, so this was was needed. <laughs> yeah, they can't be having that. You can't be having that, okay? Uh, pedal platform, no longer pierced by piercing projectiles. Oh, that's also quite the buff. Wait, does that mean you can't fire strike it and Ramatra can't punch through it anymore? Because Ramatra could used to punch through it, which was a piercing projectile, right? And Reinhardt used to be able to fire strike through it. So you had a little bit of counterplay. That's gone. That's gone. There's no more of that. They can just sit up there now. <laughs> so now what this is doing is they're trying to say, you know what? You have a problem with that life weaver pedal? Do damage to it. Because you're not you're not gonna be able to just get the, the, the damage through it. So they want you to focus the pedal down now. They well, I mean, look at all the torp turrets that get shot at, right? It has 400 HP. Well, you know what? I'm a tank sometimes and I have 600 HP. It doesn't seem to matter, does it? Yep. Just pretend the life weaver pedal's a tank, and that will fall over in half a second. You said you can be headshot, this thing can't. Go Malga, who just got nerfed. That that you can crit it. Yep, that's it. That's what it is. <laughs> Arissa can't be, you know? Yeah, I, I, on this one, it's interesting. I'm, it's kind of, I'm surprised by that because there was a bit of counterplay to it now that just kind of removes that. It just, it's basically just kill the pedal now. That's it. Just kill the pedal, that's it. That, that seems to be the the overall summary of this is kill the pedal. That's it. All right, bug fixes. So that's all the patch notes, all the the changes. I mean, like, overall for a mid-season patch, I'm like okay with it. Like, it addressed the issue of Mauga. The Arisa change is definitely interesting. Roadhog was addressed. 
Sojourn change out of nowhere. I, I, that has to be a win rate thing. Sombra, I quality of life. Ana makes sense. Ayari, quality of life changes with a bit of a buff. Life Weaver, battle platform. Like it's you think this one had to do with consistency. Some things went through and some didn't. Like Winston's primary fire um, didn't pierce it, even though it pierces most barriers. I get what you're saying. So you wanted just consistency. So like I think this is I think this is why sometimes the developer comments can be really important on these two. Because like if it said like I think I would have been it would have been better to explain it if it just said like we wanted to keep this consistent with other abilities, right? Because I look at that and I'm like, eh. but and then um, let's see the bug fixes here. Uh, we're getting endorsement level one. Oh, does that mean Somnus is always gonna not be level one now in the games? Oh, increase the volume and clarity of ultimate voiceover lines. Good change, by the way. I don't know how this is gonna sound, but I've I've been complaining about it for like two seasons where it feels like I don't know when other ultimates are happening. Like, I don't recognize an ultimate's happening if too many ults are popped. So I'm glad they kind of fixed that. I'm glad they fixed that. Because, like, that's been an issue. I, I have I have straight up not even known an ultimate's happening because there's been an issue with that. So hopefully that fixes that. Um, fixed missing multi-kill voiceovers from activating when criteria's been... Oh, I can't get six double kills anymore when I get three of limbs and a Mauga ultimate? Fix the rugby practice challenge on progressing. I, I heard, yep. Fix the bug that caused the camera to be stuck on two members on the team. I, I don't have... What is that one? Hero limit option. I'm just looking through these quickly. Fix the issue with the dot size and outline thickness would change the reticle appearance, even if there was a pass. Oh, that's good. Fix the crash related to view and replays. Fix the bug that prevented you from being able to manually enter the value for maximum Q delay and streamer protection. I I, I, I really hope they do like another like update to streamer mode. It, it feels like it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. To give, to give everybody... Uh, yeah, is, uh, by the way, has the backfill bug been addressed? Um, do you know? But on top of that, I want to point something out, like, the, the, the streamer mode, and this is obviously very niche, but, like, I've had people come and chat and be like, hey, you know, I see that they're diving you constantly on quick play, and they're clearly going for you. Why don't you just put on streamer mode? Because the streamer mode just hides your name from yourself, to give you an idea. Like, streamer mode just hides your name from yourself. So, like, you, they see your name, you don't see your name. <laughs> that's it, like, that's, that's all you're doing. I would like to see updates that to this year, I hope, I hope at least. I mean, like, I, I haven't really heard anything, so it would be nice. All right, then any heroes one fixed the bug that allowed abilities with shockwave to hit targets in a floor below. What hero? I forgot. Oh, with shockwaves. I get that. Okay, multiple. Bastion. The hitbox was desynchronized. They fixed that. Fixed the bug with rocket punch that caused targets to the punch to kind of lose their walking animation. Echo. Fixed the bug that occurred when Echo copied Sigma's kinetic grasp. Fixed the bug where Sunshine Guy wouldn't detonate if the damage threshold was reached in the last. Okay, I I've seen that before. Fixed an issue that reduced Guardian Angel active by canceling the ability. I don't. This is probably good. And fixing sure that Force Mercy to reload a Valkyrie was activated. Okay, cool. There, there you go. There's your patch changes. I mean, it's good stuff here. I mean, I, I I know people are probably hoping there was more balanced stuff, but they they address some of the key issues. And my guess is 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 chat from anything we've seen when they hype up a patch, which is going to be season nine, they're probably going to stack that. They're probably going to stack that. Oh, and get an update on the quick flight. Uh, quick. Quick fillet, the quick play bug. We're working the we're working on the quick play backfill bug. We made some changes already, but those may or may not have fixed it. Still investigate. Okay. So it, it, it is known. It's being addressed. They're trying to fix it. There you go. There's the response to that one. All right. Well, there you go.